Welcome to Futex. Elon Musk founded Neuralink in 2016 as a neurotechnology company dedicated to developing implantable brain-machine interfaces BMIs, that allow humans to interact with computers and other devices with their thoughts. By developing technology that enhances cognitive abilities and allows humans to communicate with machines at a faster and more intuitive level, Neuralink aims to create a symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. Professor X in the X-Men can control other objects and even organisms directly through his brain, so this operation sounds very similar. A more exaggerated statement is that it is a way to preserve human consciousness and achieve eternal life. Neuralink has made significant progress in the field of brain-machine interface in the past six years. The company has demonstrated brain-machine experiments on primates, as well as implanting devices in pigs and monkeys. In one of the videos released, a monkey played ping-pong with his mind. In the experiment, a monkey implanted with electrodes and chips in its brain moved the computer cursor to a designated place using a joystick and was rewarded with food for completing it. As Musk prepares for the next step, clinical trial subjects will begin recruiting in early 2022 for Musk's human experiment. Foreign media interpreted this as a sign that Musk is exploring possibilities for human application of his experiment. However, Neuralink does not currently possess the FDA authorization to conduct tests with people. But Synchron, being a rival to Relic, has accomplished the initial operation of inserting brain machine instruments into patients in America. It's natural to be disheartened at such news, but it could also be beneficial to both humans and non-humans due to the fact that competition is essential in advancing industry growth. The Stentrode was developed by a team of researchers led by Dr. Thomas Oxley at the University of Melbourne and the Royal Melbourne Hospital, in collaboration with Synchron, a neurovascular bioelectronics company. Synchron develops and commercializes implantable neural interface technologies for patients with neurological disorders. In addition to its flagship product, Stentrode, the company offers potential treatment options for conditions such as paralysis, epilepsy, and Parkinson's disease by recording brain activity and stimulating targeted brain areas. Before we explore the possibilities of using human experiments in the brain-machine interface field, let us first delve into its current state. For instance, Nutanix was founded in 2016 and caught the attention of many due to its creator, Elon Musk. Furthermore, Neuralink, another company created by Musk, strives to create a brain implant device that can potentially cure neurological illnesses like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Although brain-machine interfaces have been around for a while without making much progress, Elon Musk envisioned improvements to the technology and way of implementation. He then made it possible through Neuralink, an approach similar to his company Tesla's application of modern technology to electric cars. All this was widely reported by the media. All of it stemmed from Elon Musk's brainchild. The media simply highlighted it. The concept behind the brain-machine interface has been around for a while, yet with few advancements in development. This is where Neuralink comes in, taking existing technology and applying it to this form of interface. Much like what Tesla did for the automotive industry by not inventing an electric car, just utilizing modern tech to improve its design and make it available as a solution. The brain-machine interface works on the principle of connecting the brain with bodily organs and muscles. This is done by interpreting the electrical signals generated by the brain, which are like a programming language for our bodies. When there is a break in the connection between the brain and body, due to physical damage or degenerative diseases. This device acts like a bridge to pass on these electrical impulses, thereby bypassing the disconnection. The non-invasive brain-machine interface, such as a hat with many electrode sensors designed to read electrical signals from the brain, has the hindrance of a full skull obstructing signal propagation. It's like trying to listen to a concert while standing outside a theater. You may catch some bass but not the vocals. Neuralink, however, seeks to bypass this hurdle by taking an invasive approach, installing electrodes directly into the brain in order to achieve an optimum connection. 
Currently, Utah Array is a major player in the field of invasive brain-machine interfaces. Consisting of a square computer chip with spikes designed to penetrate the brain and array into its cortical surface, it connects to a miniature computing device via an oversized wire. To ensure optimal performance, the array is usually implanted twice so that both spikes are connected to two computer boxes with wires protruding from the head. Although this may sound harsh, it allows for quick and easy readings of electrical signals from the brain's cortex and translation into computer code. Here's the key part. In this process, the person with the implanted brain can control electronic devices with their brains. They can control mechanical limbs, just like they do with their own arms, or control computers to move the mouse or type on the keyboard. Unfortunately, this method can only be used in medical research settings. As the Utah Array is just a bunch of tiny nails on the surface of your brain, people cannot use all these things on a daily basis, and they can't even maintain it at home. A foreign object is normally rejected by the body, resulting in inflammation and scarring around the puncture, ultimately making the device unusable. Now, Musk is propelling us into the new generation of brain-machine interface technology with startups such as Synchron and Neuralink. Last year, Synchron got approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to carry out human trials in America, and the first patient was implanted with a stent. Stents are slender tubes doctor can fit into a person's blood vessel when it becomes blocked or narrowed. It supports the artery wall so that blood can flow normally, preventing heart attacks. These implants consist of mesh which expands and contacts the structure of a vessel when pulled back via catheter, and a miniature computing device embedded in the user's chest that is connected to one end of this tubular framework through metal wire. Synchron and Neuralink are both companies that are working on developing brain-computer interfaces BCIs, but they have some differences in their approach and focus. Synchron's focus is on developing a minimally invasive BCI system called the Stentrode, which is implanted in the brain via a blood vessel in the neck. The Stentrode uses electrodes to record and stimulate brain activity, with the goal of restoring movement and communication to people with paralysis or other neurological disorders. On the other hand, Neuralink is developing a more invasive BCI system that involves implanting a chip with electrodes directly into the brain. Neuralink's initial focus is on developing BCIs that can help people with neurological disorders. But the company's ultimate goal is to create a symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence AI, by enabling direct communication between the brain and computers. Overall, both companies are working towards the goal of creating more advanced and effective brain-computer interfaces, but they have different approaches and areas of focus. Since this is essentially the same as implanting a pacemaker, medical professionals should be very familiar with it. In contrast to implanting a computer device in the heart, they are simply inserting wires into the brain. It is paired with the computer system via Bluetooth and can be connected to a smartphone as well. A patient will not feel any protrusions or obvious signs that an implanted object is present in their brain during surgery. In just a few hours, the system can be used for surgery anywhere. Most importantly, the new procedure does not need to open the patient's skull or cause damage, and it allows the brain tissue to expand. In the United States, a patient with muscular dystrophy has been treated with a stent. His body could not move or speak before the surgery. The electrodes that produced the response to the surgery were not physically connected to the cortical tissue or neurons, even though the surgery was initially successful. The signal through the stent pathway is limited and cannot match the bandwidth of the Utah array well. Therefore, this surgery still did not provide a complete solution, as Musk's Neuralink does. Combining traditional Utah Array and modern stent technology, Neuralink takes this capability to the next level. This is because the device does not just target a small portion of the brain, but has a robot sewing machine which precisely inserts very thin and flexible electrode wires into the outer cortex of the brain. Only a few millimeters are required, thus allowing the electrodes to be placed directly into desired neurons. 
Every connection will have close to a thousand such tiny wires leading to an immense amount of signals being generated in the brain. Moreover, the computer device connected to these electrode wires is quite small and can easily fit into the hollow space of one's skull, right up against their bone. The area can then simply be sewn back together with no visible signs that there is a computer under your hair once it starts growing again. Similarly as with stents, it will also be physically linked to one's brain. Lastly, it will be able to communicate with either computers or smartphones through Bluetooth, so that brain signals can be converted into commands for these devices. Thus, during implantation very tried and tested medical processes will be employed combined with Neuralink's never-before-seen robot brain surgery using its specific robot sewing machine for this task. Obtaining Adam's approval for human experiments may require Neuralink to submit a detailed and well-tested proposal for stitching wires into the human brain. Currently, Neuralink is conducting device experiments on pigs and monkeys, but in many cases, monkeys undergoing surgery either die during the operation or are euthanized immediately afterward. In other cases, monkeys die from surgery-related complications like infections, which are not supported by most people for humanitarian reasons, as these deaths are planned and part of any medical device testing process. If this technology is ultimately successful in humans, it will usher in a new era of brain-machine interfaces for humanity. Are you eager to experience this new era? Thanks for watching.